Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Ojima. We begin tonight with an update on Tua Tonga-Vailoa's injury. The former St. Louis High alum was taken off the field on a stretcher in the second quarter of tonight's game between the Dolphins and Bengals. Tua was taken to a local Cincinnati hospital in the second quarter. Tua's head appeared to hit the turf as he was sacked. The 24-year-old was conscious and had movement in all of his extremities. So that's certainly positive news. Now, according to the broadcast, to his fingers moving into a fencing position was a neurological response to head trauma. Last Sunday, it was thought that Tua had suffered a concussion against the Bills, but the team later said Tua had suffered back and ankle injuries. The Dolphins lost to the Bengals 27 to 15. Now, Tua is currently in concussion protocol. The team says he is expected to be released from the hospital and travel home with the team. So that is all very encouraging news. Switching gears to college football, the Warriors had the past couple of days off as they enter their bye week. The team returned to the practice field early this morning. The Warriors are just one in four this season, but head coach Timmy Chang says what's most disappointing in their loss to New Mexico State last weekend was that the team left plenty of points and yards on the field. Yeah, there, there's a lot of football. You know, I think I think uh, New Mexico State definitely left, they left a bad taste in our mouth. You know, of, of where we're at. I know it left a bad taste in mine. Um, you know, I, I thought uh, I thought we didn't play very well, and uh, and we need to get better. There needs, there needs to be a sense of urgency to play better, get better, and we need to coach better as well. You know, just keep coming along. That's all we can do. I mean, it's a bright future for this program, as you can see. We got a great coaching staff. Coach Chang is a great coach. I mean, it's a, it's a lot to look forward to for this program. We still got a lot of season left to grow and prosper because it'll get better as the season progresses. The Rainbow Wahine volleyball team is on the road this week as they continue conference play. The Bulls will try to improve to 3-0 in the Big West as they visit Cal State Fullerton tomorrow afternoon. It shows like how much work we've been putting in in the practice gym. All week last week we were doing defensive drills and I think that that just gave us a little extra um, going into the weekend. So I think getting those digs is great. That's just another part of the standard. <laughs> Bows have never lost to the Titans. They're a perfect 43-0 versus Cal State Fullerton. So history on their side. That is Island Sports. Guys, back to you.